영원히 stay g o d and never let go. Hi. So it's been a while since I did like a talking video about stuff. I think the last one was probably when I did my weekly rant about that whole dumb stuff with one one fans and newest and blah blah blah. But this one is not a rant. It's actually just like an opinion. Opinions, because, you know, I have a lot of opinions, and it's for Itzy and TXT, because I guess, like, right now, they're, like, the emerging rookies. Itzy is literally, like, popping. They are getting all the music show wins, and they, like, debuted in February and stuff, and it's, like, crazy. And then TXT just debuted on Monday, so we're just, I just wanted to talk about them. So we're going to start with Itzy. Um, so, we all knew that the new girl group for JYP was coming, and I was excited for it because I usually like the music that the label puts out with their groups, and I was really, really impressed with Stray Kids, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna see what this one brings to the table, and at first listen to Dala Dala, I was kind of just like... Indifferent. It was not bad, but it wasn't amazing. I didn't have like an immediate, oh my gosh, I need to listen to this nonstop, you know? Because there's like some songs that I just am like, oh, this is it, this is good. But I was kind of just like, eh, it was okay. And the first thoughts I had were pretty much the song was all over the place. There's a lot of like different parts that sound like kind of different songs. And I was like, hmm interesting and then when they had the keep your chin up we got your back like that chanting part before the last chorus i was like oh so you're trying to fought so they were trying to do the formula of like ooh ah and cheer up because they had that same stuff too but i was like but of course i'm not i'm not trying to compare them because like duh who cares but after a few more listens um, and watching a few of the live stages, the song really started to grow on me, and now I actually find myself really enjoying it, singing along to it. It's a little catchy tune. It's a, it's a catchy one, but it was definitely a grower. Um, and then as for the group members themselves, I don't know too much about them except that Rujin... Rujin was on Mix 9. She did pretty well there. And then... Cherong, Cherong, Cherong uh, is Eyes One, Cheon's sister. You know, we all knew that though. And they were on 16. But from the live stages and stuff, Yeji has stood out the most to me. She just has a lot of like stage presence and I'm always like drawn to her. And then I also am really drawn to Leah. I don't know, something about that high ponytail was just giving me some life. And I'm looking forward to what they do next because. They've managed to pop the frick off with just one single. Um, and there's another song on the single. The name of that song is Escaping Me. It's the B-side. But I really wasn't feeling that song. It was not my cup of tea. So it is what it is. Congratulations on them for, like, breaking the record of mo least amount of days to get a number one for a girl group. JYP with girl groups just seems to be getting the hits and I'm honestly know that they're going to do just fine. So now on to TXT. This was a debut I'd been waiting for for a while because Big Hit years and years ago talked about a new group and we were just like, okay, but when's it coming? And then they finally pulled their Pletus because you know how Pletus was like back in 2012, oh, newest debuted, but we have another boy group coming, Temptist. And we were all just like, okay, cool. You're going to debut them in 2012. And they're like, <laughs> so fast. And then everything just like was like all up in the air. 17 TV. And we we're just like, what is going on, Pletus? Are you going to debut this new group or not? And then finally, they're in 2015. They're like, okay, we got you. We're here. So Big Hit finally was like, all right, we got you. This group is coming. It is here. It is real. And I was like, finally, damn it. Um, and I'm happy that the group isn't, like, a million freaking members because it always seems like nowadays 
a lot of trends is to have a huge group with a lot of people and I'm just like <gasps> But thank goodness it's only five. And I think five is a pretty solid number for a pretty solid group. And all the boys, though, they're, like, so young. The oldest being in 1999, which means he's only 19 in American age. And I'm just like, damn! Um, but I definitely think I listened to the whole album. And I've been listening to the album because I really like it. It was, It's really good. I definitely think the whole album was a perfect fit for them. The music was like bright and fun and catchy and bubbly. And it just went along perfectly with the young, boyish, innocent type look that they were giving us in the pictures and in the music video. So I thought it was very fitting. And I'm glad they didn't try to like pull a concept that would have been like kind of disingenuine and do a concept that would have seemed forced and, like, uncomfortable. I'm glad they stuck to this cheerful, not doing too much um, concept that really fits the vibe, the age, and everything about that. Who's calling me? I don't know how these spam people keep getting my phone number, but that needs to stop. Um, anyways, yeah, moving on from the concepts. Um, I'm really enjoying the album. Crown is such a fun catchy song i'm really loving it and blue orange aid is another one of my favorites they're like promoting it on the music shows and stuff and uh, i just love that one line where it's like so random but it's so good whether when yunjun is just like you like to pop i like biggie biggie and i'm just like <gasps> I don't know, something about that line always makes me smile because it's just like, it's like, what? That's so random. But it was, but it's like, it gets stuck in my head. I think that might be my favorite English line in a K-pop song so far this year. Because for a while, my favorite line for like the longest was Mark and NCT when he was like, long ass ride. And I, every time that came on, I'd be like, long ass ride. But now it's like, you like Tupac, I like Biggie Biggie. Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. Oh, I can't disrespect Tupac like that and only sing a Biggie song. Um, California knows how to party. Anyways, Cat and Dog, uh, that was a really strange song. And when I first heard the, saw the title for it, I was like, hmm, what's this about to be? But oddly, the song was pretty good. Um... And by the end of it, I was I was really taken aback the first time I heard it when they were like, I just want to be a dog. Hoo, 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 hoo. And I was like, what is this? I I just, what is going on? There's Because I someone had the song, I want to be a cat. I want to be a cat. And now, I just want to be a dog. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I don't know what is going on, but <laughs> it is what it is. But... The group, CXC, though, has a lot of potential. I did feel like, though, with this whole album, they kind of played it vocally safe. There is, like, there wasn't a lot of, like, long notes, a lot of, like, super crazy vocal tricks. Even in the ballad song, Nap of a Star, which I guess is the song that showcases their vocals the best, it still kind of felt a little safe to me, like... We're not going to show everything we have just yet. And I'm just like, okay, you know, leave some to the imagination. Keep us enticed because, you know, you don't want to give us everything right off the bat. You know, let us get pulled in deeper and want to know more. Um, because literally this group has been like such a mystery. They, they, they showed the pictures and then they would post all the stuff on Instagram, on um, Twitter. And we we're just like, what do they sound like? But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I think definitely, though, in the future, they'll show more vocals and tricks and stuff. So I'm excited. I also like that they can all sing, like, Nap of the Star, Our Summer. They, those were, there was no raps. So, you know, you could honestly have them do a whole ass comeback where they were just all singing. All five of them can sing. As for my bias, it's a toss-up right now. I'm really feeling Yunjun. 
he is really talented. He can sing. He dances. He raps. He he is all of that in a bag of chips. Bum you just from all his like Twitter videos and stuff where he'd be like, I was like, mm, you kind of cute. Don't know much about you though. And then Subin, the leader, the tall one, I'm really feeling him too. He's attracted my attention a lot with the live stages. So, yeah. But I want to know more about them all. I want to know more about their personalities. Like, we need to have them on variety shows. <coughs> ASAP. Because we want to know more about them. Okay? So, those are my thoughts on It's the and TXT. And I have bought in the TXT album that will get here eventually. Uh, the order that I placed it in was with a few other albums, and one of them hasn't been released yet. And if you know me, and you know, you know which one it is, because fuck it, bitch! <laughs> so, the albums will come either... Uh, the albums will probably come either at the end of next week or the beginning of the week after that. We'll see. I did it with the DHL shipping, so, you know. And this is, like, the first time on K-Town for you that I actually was, like, buying at, like, a haul, I guess you could. Because I really don't buy from them. Because I'm always like, girl, you be so enticing with the pricing. But then when you get to the shipping, you're paying, like, double the price of the albums. And I'm just like... <laughs> see that's where they get you and they're like we have the cheapest prices online but wait till you get to the shipping bamboozled and i'm just like <laughs> but honestly five albums plus a poster for the dhl shipping included it wasn't that bad of a price so we'll see what happens anyways i'll see you on the next video bye